Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your uh, second half of May reading. Sorry, this is a couple days late. It was intended to be the 15th through the 31st, but I ended up going on vacation. So this will be from the time you watch it until the 31st of May. But it is, again, you know, my readings are pretty much timeless. So whenever it resonates with you, this could have already happened, could be happening in the future, could be happening now, you know, whatever it is, it is, whatever it isn't, it isn't. Um, this is for the sign of Libra. Ooh, you could be dealing with a crafty individual or somebody has something up their sleeve. And you're probably seeing it absolutely clearly. It's like you're not in the dark about this situation, whatever it is. So whatever came to your mind when I said this, you're not in the dark. You're, whatever you're thinking is true. <sighs> You know, there could be a conceited, self-centered uh, person that has low self-esteem that is bringing you down. Maybe you're dealing with a naysayer who is, you know, very insecure within themselves. And they could be, you know, they could have some sort of, you know, misery loves company kind of attitude. So, just saying, you could be dealing with somebody who is a Debbie Downer. Or this could be you. You know, I'm just saying. Oh, but it looks like you are seeing things absolutely clearly, like I just said. So you probably know who this person is, Libra. I think you're dealing with somebody who... It could be a fire sign, by the way. Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius. That is... Um, you know, kind of has a know-it-all attitude. You could be dealing with somebody who thinks they know it all. And you're seeing the situation clearly, but you can't get through to them no matter how hard you try. Interesting. Libra. Yeah, there's an unhappy relationship here. Whether this is at work or in love, there's an unhappy relationship. There's no doubt. There's somebody or a situation where there's incompatibility. And whoever you're dealing with... Um, they're, they're, they're very tricky, sneaky individual. Causing a lot of problems within the relationship. And you're probably ready to step out of it. Okay? It's like you've learned something from this person. Even if it was the hard way. It's like, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to fight with you anymore about this. If you can't see the truth, then I'm not sh You know, I do. I see the truth. That's you. I think that you are seeing the situation pretty clearly, even though this is confusion. I think the person that you're dealing with is bringing, trying, or is bringing a lot of confusion into your life. You're probably thinking about ending it, completing it, you know, whatever this is. It's like, I see the light. I see the truth of this situation. I, I think that I'm ready to complete this cycle of my life because there's too much unharmony, disharmony, you know. There's too much arguing going on. There's too much fighting. There's too much confusion. I mean, you're you're dealing with somebody who is quite cunning. All right, very very cunning. And I think that you're probably ready to end it. And I think that's what the case is. I'm ready to end it. Um, and focus on the future. It's like I I can see that there's more for me than this. Um. And I think that this is something you've been preparing yourself for. So I think at the end of May, you may be actually following through with the plans, okay? The plans that you have come up with. You've received some sort of clarity that you needed. And whatever this person is, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, I said fire sign, could be any sign taking on that energy, somebody that is very... Um, you know, they have a really big ego, and I think that it's bringing you down. This person is self-centered and hard to ration with. I mean, what is it? Rationale? Whatever. Anyway, there you. there's a lot. There's definitely some disharmony, and there's like some family fights or with this person or with your family that is causing um, you probably wanting to walk away. I know there's more for me. I think you've been preparing for this for a while. You knew this was coming. Whoever this person is that I'm talking about, you're dealing with, that has been causing all these problems. I feel like you, you were, you've you been aware of it. You've been aware that this time was going to come. 
but I think there's still a level of confusion here where you're, you know, you're thinking about um, ending this cycle, but you're still thinking about it. Is this the right decision for me? But you're prepared for it at the same time. You're definitely being tested as well. This is a test. It is definitely a test, a test of your security, okay? Because this is insecurity. This is a test of your security. Are you stable to start over? Are you stable to go down a new road? Are you, are you secure enough to do that? This is a test of your insecurity, your inner insecurity, you know what I mean? That's what's going on here. Whatever is happening is testing your security within yourself, how secure you are with who you are. But some of you have been clinging to the past. You've been clinging to the past, to this individual. And, you know, and I think there's, there's a lack of the ability to find the strength to let go. When the fact of the matter is, is that there's victory and success after you let go. You know, you have been making progress because this tells me you have. But there's still this little bit of, um, oh... There's a little bit of pieces inside of you that you, you just can't quite diminish whatever it is. You're still clinging to the past in some way. It's like you're being manipulated still by this person that where there's too much discord. You're still there. You're still there even though, you know, you're making progress. You're, you're seeing the truth. You're hearing the truth. You're waking up in regards to the situation. There's still an inability to master your emotions fully enough to find that discipline that is deep down inside of you. You haven't quite found it to get to where you need to be, to get to that ultimate completion of this cycle. You know, you just need to find that last little bit of strength. Okay, it's reverse. Strength is reverse. You need to find that last little bit of strength to, to uh, take the next step, okay? To stop playing this game because you've been dealing with a player. You have been. And I know that many of you don't want to hear that. And this may not resonate with you because this will not resonate with every single person. Somebody has been ignoring the truth for quite some time now about their past. Even though there's been so much disharmony and so many com conflicts and arguments and lack of communication. Somebody has been co in complete denial about it. You know, you're in denial. It's like I'm turning a blind eye to the truth. all the way all the while still making progress if you know what i mean and I, and i see the confusion i mean this is the confusion right here you've been going back and forth with it you have there's there's like i i know the truth about my past i'm still clinging to the truth i mean i'm still clinging to the past even though i know the truth even though i don't want to accept the truth because that's what this card is i'm in denial about the truth about the past about this past relationship you could be manipulating yourself. Somebody's being manipulated here, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's being manipulated. Somebody lacks strength. They lack willpower, and they lack confidence in themselves because they want to be in a commitment. The thing is, is that I can see that you are making progress. You are. You are making progress in because you're seeing clearly, but it's like... There's still a lack of balance and harmony because you haven't taken the last step. The last step is the world card. And this is taking a next step upright. You have not taken the last step. So you need to take the last step. The fact of the matter is, is that you may be feeling a little content with your lack of strength right now because it's, it's, it's like, it's comforting to stay where you, it's safe. It's safe. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness gracious. So I feel like you guys, it's safe where you're at. You just need to take that very last step, whatever it is, to find that ultimate contentment. I think that you're content where you're at, hanging on to this past. It's like there's a feeling of contentment. You're making slow progress. You are making slow progress. You are, which is a good thing. All you need to do is sever that last tie. You need to sever the last tie, whatever it is, whether this is at work, at love, with family member, I don't know what it is, but there is some sort of tie that needs to be severed because it's not about your ego. 
Let go of your ego. Let go of your need to prove yourself. It's just time to be happy. It's time for your happiness. It's not about what other people think. It's not about what anybody else thinks. It's time for you to be happy, period. It's time to give up on a situation that is going nowhere. It's time to release it. There's no more stability. There's no more security. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, man or woman. You got all the signs are here, so don't you need to hold it to that, okay? But I do feel like whoever you're dealing with is self-centered. They have a very big ego. They need attention constantly. They're not focused on love. They're focused on everything but love, and you're in the middle. Whoever this is for, this will not resonate with everybody because I know some of you are getting into happy relationships. Some of you will have a commitment, okay, after some period of time. A commitment is here, but it's after a period of disharmony because there's a lot of disharmony here, a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering, um, but you're seeing the situation clearly, whatever it is. Somebody needs to release an obsession, and there is absolutely no doubt about it. There is no hope left in a situation that you were once committed to. And this is a test. There is no hope, probably with whoever this person is, okay? There's no more hope there. But you are refusing to release it, or somebody has been. Maybe they're re and this can go vice versa, so this could be somebody refusing to release you, okay? But I think for many of you, it's you needing to close that chapter, needing to close that door, needing to release it. So I feel like at the end of this month, it's time to, put, to take action. This is the outcome card. Take action. Get moving. Stop wasting your time. So for, for Libra, I feel like the end of the month is about finding that last bit of strength within you to complete this cycle. You know what it is. Many of you are going to do it because this is what's come up. Some of you are still going to cling to this past hurt. You're going to cling to it. And it's only going to hurt you. You're going to stay in denial and it's only going to hurt you. Some of you, this was like this, are going to let it go and release it for good. And get that world card and you're going to find success because you did. You've learned a big lesson with the world card, which is in the middle. That's the basis of the reading. You've learned a big lesson. This was all a lesson. It was. Some of you are going to actually step over that finish line and complete the cycle. Some of you are going to stay in the conflict and stay connected to it and still keep your eyes closed. But some of you aren't. So I feel like this is the end of May is about taking action because this is an action card. Take action. You're ready. I don't know what we used in the other ones. It's been a week. I'm going to get you one of these and see what comes up. This is for Libra. Thank you for your patience. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. Use your time wisely to figure out what success means to you. Some of you have a successful commitment because you have released a situation that was too argumentative. So therefore, now you have this new commitment that is, will lead to victory and success. But you have to close that other cycle. You have to close that other door first. So that's what I see. Talk to you later.